how much do we order? Well, management or us as planners, well, the system, will want to maximize or minimize the sum of all costs involved. We want to keep those costs down, but yet maximize the customer service. So we as managers need to make some decision rules. The methods of deciding, or deciding how much to order uh, are basically lot for lot, the fixed order quantity, or what we call EOQ, period order quantity, and then we have some modifiers, min, max, and multiple quantities. Uh, if you look at the lot side, as we go back to our sawtooth curve, where we're depleting inventory, and then we're replenishing inventory based on that order quantity. So in this case, the uh, width of demand is 100 units, and the order quantity is 200. Average lot size would then be 100 units, because we're maintaining uh, an average of 100 units. And the number of times that we're going to order would be 26 uh, periods per year. Let's look at EOQ, or economic order quantity. EOQ assumes that demand is going to be relatively constant and known. So we know that that curve is uh, going to be what we think it is. Items are produced and purchased in lots. And these costs, the preparation, inventory, carrying costs, lead times are constant and uh, known. And the repl replenishment costs are uh, understood. So if we look at lot sizing, we're looking at what's called the order cost. So if you order a large number of items, the number of times you're going to order is less, and therefore the order cost is less. However, if you order those larger quantities, it's going to be around an inventory a longer time, so the carrying cost is going to be higher. And so if you take the uh, carrying cost plus the order cost, you're going to come up with what's called the total cost. So if we graph that, very simply by taking the order quantity and the carrying cost, you can see that we now have a curve equaling the total cost, and that EOQ is at the lowest point of that total cost curve. So if you look at this, you don't want to graph every part that you got. So we've got a couple of formulas that allow us to uh, do this, we can calculate EOQ in terms of the dollar value of the order or economic order quantity in terms of units. So here, those are both the least total or the least total cost. And this is the annual usage in units. This is the setup or fixed ordering cost in dollars. I is the carrying cost and C is the unit cost. So that's how we would calculate the economic order quantity. And uh, I think Denise has uh, given you a handout in the uh, webinar uh, folder. I created this little spreadsheet that uh, allows you to calculate what your uh, EOQ is for a particular item based on demand, the uh, unit cost, and the order cost along with the variable uh, carrying cost value.